Hi guys, so we've got another ranked game stream between Nashville Bar and the Viper. So Nashville Bar on Mongolians here on the bottom left side of the map is the blue player. It's the red player. We got the Viper. So the Viper's on Chinese, Nashville Bar on Mongolians. Seeing an early mill here from the Viper. A bit of distance gathering on the wood. I oh know he's coming back to build his house. On Nashville Bar. Just gathering wood at the moment. Probably going to go for a pasture, I imagine. As well as his starting go. So the early wood gathering for both players coming in handy so they can fit in everything they want to go for here. Quick mill from the Viper, so I imagine he wants to get wheelbarrow fairly quickly. We're only going to see a scout from each player here. No extra scouts. It's a nice amount of sheep there for the Viper. Nashville Bar not been so lucky. Actually, going for a pasture just yet. But now he's finding a good number of sheep. A lot of water relics here for Nussle Bar. Two of them right close to the edge of the water, while only a third safely up the back for him. While Life has got two over here near this gold mine. So it does mean he's got to work towards getting control of this area in the late game. So he's... Ashabar's using the scouting falcon as he goes as well, because I imagine it's just a nice tell for what your opponent's scout's doing. Do they last forever? No, only 30 seconds. And it's just good practice to use them early because it'll mean you'll instinctively look to use them a bit more later. And they come in handy, you know, if you're still using your Khan or your Scouts later, which you obviously should if they're still alive, and it does come in handy. Another big drop off of sheep here by the Viper. And now he's hitting his Imperial Academy. So we'll have to see. Is he going to look towards going towards a Song Dynasty? And if he does, is he going to go 2 TC as well? Or is he just going to go 1? Well, it looks like Nusselbar. Going for deer stones is probably going for something more aggressive and tower based. Whereas the other option is he could go for the market landmark, I can't remember the name of it. Um, basically start training really cheap market caravan traders. We have All this gold gathering. The Viper's either going to go for, he probably is going to go for a Song Dynasty plus some upgrades. Nashville Bar, well, remains to be seen, but he's gathering a bit more wood again. And already got a barracks. Now he's added in the pasture. I thought he might have added it a bit sooner, but no, nah, I was wrong. Yeah, so a fairly quick Barbican now. So, pretty similar to the game that the Viper just played, that his opponent pulled on him. Oh, he just 
playing against the Muslim. Pretty much open just like this. And basically, the Muslim skipped all his armory tech and just pushed with a fairly quick H3 after a second town center. So I wonder if the Viper's going to go for a similar strategy against Nushalbar's Mongols, but Nushalbar really fielding a couple of spearmen. And there's a villager heading across, so he's going to want a tower somewhere here. We're going to find out where. Where are you going, you cheeky devil? He's got to sneak it around though, because the Barbican's going to waste anything, and it might be a little bit easier from, than heading from this side, but that does also put him fairly close to the wood line, and English does need a lot of wood early. So, not sure if this is the better path for Nushalbar to be going, trying to attack from this side, because he's still going to run past the Barbican. Whereas if he comes from this side, he's actually a lot further from the Barbican, and I'll, pretty close to the resources that Viper's really trying to go for now. I mean, he'll be done with the stone pretty shortly. He only needs... Actually, he doesn't need any more... S oh no, that's natural about stone. So yeah, Viper's still got to work towards his stone, so really, a tower here and spear push here would probably be the way to go. These guys, just sitting back, but I wonder if they might be best off coming in to try and fight the Vils. Just to delay that second town center of the Vipers, because meanwhile Nushalbar doesn't really have a lot in the map while he's investing in towers and having villagers come out to build them, and he's having to get things like arrow slits, which adds another 75 cost to your towers. And so now he's looking at pushing up with the Spearman, and he's going to get Viper's Scout there. So it makes it a little bit annoying having to bring those sheep back, but I mean, they, they'll be able to wander back fine. And now the town center's finishing up, and it's going to be able to cover that gold mine well. Nice spot too, because it's only obscuring one town, uh, one farm placement. And meanwhile, Nashabo is looking at controlling these golds and all the resources on this top side of the map with his towers, which is nice, but I do wonder if hitting the woodline and controlling these resources here would have been the way to go. So he's going to take down the mining camp, but a little bit slow in doing so. So the Viper in the meanwhile, just keep going up behind this. Lying on the cover from the two town centers, he'll be able to work towards age 3, I think. I think that's probably what both of them are doing, so... Let me get a stables just to give him a bit of cover around the map, maybe... Uh, Put pressure on whichever tower Nushalbar doesn't have spears on just to keep him active and from overwhelming him. Maybe even looking at raiding him back at home because the Mongol player going straight for a step readout, fairly quick age 3, one town center. There's not a lot at home really. And if you can force him to garrison a shitload into the town center, you can buy a bit of pressure for yourself, slowing down his eco. So Nushalbar's step redoubt is going to finish up soon and that'll allow him to really keep competitive with the villager production of the Chinese player because his gold gathering out of that redoubt is going to be super efficient and being a Mongol so he can pack it up and go to wherever he pleases around the map. So Neither player is really committed to water at all. Viper's really looking at macroing up hard, and Nushalbar just getting map control and trying to get a tech lead. Yeah, stables being thrown down for Nushalbar. But there is going to be some horsemen heading across for Viper, because remember he's got this Barbican giving him great control over the mid map here. And now Nushalbar is going to have to try and tower this up, but the horsemen are already here. The 
beauty is he can just move to wherever he sees fit, but this gold mine is a million miles away. So he's actually gonna just shift the go back. Oh, and bearing in mind that was robbing him of gold out of the step redoubt, so he should have done that slightly sooner actually. But while this is going on, this tower has uh, disrupted the mill. Meanwhile, Nashabar trying to find some space to harass the Viper. A nice wall off attempt there. Nashabar having a dig at the Viper's uh, food gatherers because he has 15 on that town center. He is repelled. It's been a bit of messy harass here from our players. So they spearmen with their second upgrade, but now there's Zhug on the field. And these guys are great against everything light armor, provided they can get some attacks off with their high damage. But the Khan has been sniped. So the fight with. Nice job there. Sniping the Khan, but losing a couple of units in the process, so the Khan doesn't really cost Nushalbar any resources, just time. While the Viper does give up two horsemen for it. Ooh, if the Viper was a little bit... If Nushalbar was a little bit faster, I think he could have attacked through the wall placement with the Knights or the Lancers. So Viper adding a Ram now. He's probably going to want to take out these outposts that Nushubar has been harassing him with. So if this one gets arrow slits, or if this one gets uh, springled, it's going to be really devastating. Some other Vils having to be so careful over here. Oh no, that's just sheep. So Nushubar's... I mean, Viper's Gate will fall without repair, but he has got some here in the process. So Nashbar just ducking and weaving, doing a bit of harass. And he's getting a couple of spring wooden placements around the map. Oh, this one's going to be nifty. It'll be killing a couple of villagers here. Yeah, so it's going to be able to snipe them and make it hard for Viper to reinforce this gate, to repair it. All over here, Viper's Gold Gatherers having to make a run for it. Going for stone though. So Nushalbar has age 3 over the Viper at the moment. He is looking at grabbing all the relics and getting his blacksmith tech so he can start having the eco and the armory just to mount a big push. And meanwhile, the Viper is going to be able to clean up a lot of these outposts, which aren't cheap once you add in the cost of taking the uh, emplacements. So Nashabar has managed to wipe out that gate now. But in the meanwhile, Viper's cleaning up his towers. And he is going to get some armory text behind us. What is your new there? The Lance is going to be a pain in the ass to deal with because it's going to take Spearman as well as your news to clean this up. So these guys have crazy attack speed, but pretty low base damage. And they're not particularly suited for attacking high damage, ah, high armor units, but at the same time they've sort of bridged the gap between a light and a heavy damage unit if they can stick to the target. Another run by here from Noshubar, he wants to keep denying 
the gold gathering of the Viper at the moment. In fact, he's just running by. A bit of a scout, seeing if there's anything produced here. That's a big number of bills to make a couple of farms, though, so you probably could look at picking that off from around the granary. The car itself is enough to be a bit of a threat there. That Viper. Sending some units over just in case. Right, he's got enough there to clean this up with a couple of spears. A package of news. Oh, these rams by the Viper. Perhaps this is a bit of a bait. Yeah, Nashabar, going to have to look at getting out now. But he does clean up a couple of rams in the process. Oh, he's keeping this little pocket of units of the Vipers busy and over here. So he's got some Jug News sitting idle. Coming past the tower is not going to be great for the Viper. His uh, light armor unit's going to be under a lot of threat. <laughs> so the Viper has a Spearman on, on defense here. But he wouldn't have seen the village actually head up around the corner to build this outpost. So he's going to see it now, but <laughs> it is a bit late. So Nashabar's having snuck another villager over. He's going to try and send some more lances to go and raid. But at the same time, the Viper's looking at uh, pushing out onto the spot. Uh, that post is going to fall, but this one over here is going to get finished. So the Viper cleaning up dribs and drabs of National Bowers around the map here, and I think he's actually. Ooh, he's really started to boom ahead of him here. So National Bars harass around the map. Strat just hasn't been quite enough to wear his opponent down here. In terms of the relics though, Nashabar already has three, and I think he's looking at trying to pinch uh, Vipers behind this, which he is, yeah. He's not going to get into one of the villages. He's got some lances in Vipers base at the moment. Viper. That's not it. Armory techs at the moment. So he's got his H2 melee damage and H2 range damage and armor already. Nushalbar, his armory attacks, he's got. What do we got here? Basically the same. And he's got range damage H3. So Nushalbar's actually got quite a few upgrades here. So even though Vipers managed to macro up and mass up such a unit count, eco count. Nashabar slightly ahead on his armory tax. He's ducking and weaving and he's gonna be able to do it, I think. Tearing down. Well he's having all these outposts torn down by the Viper at the moment though. This is a nice engagement for Nushalbar. Some heavy units and plenty of bows in support. He's gonna force a big garrison here of uh, farmers for the Viper and man, those farms for the Chinese place just look sick. Farms that are different from Civ to Civ is just such a cool thing that AoE O and AoE 4 have over the other games. There's a raid going on now for Nushal Barrett. It's keeping a lot of eco here for the Viper busy, but in the meanwhile, the Viper solidifying his spot, trying to get this keep up, and now he's got. A nest of bees forward, he can really 
threaten big packs of archers. And meanwhile, these archers for Nushabab are going to be able to get a couple of villager kills before they go down. This tower over here, a little bit inconsequential in a sense. Probably needs to be more over here. This tower here is quite nice. Going to be able to deny that gold mine. Viper, this army is just so massive now. Macna up so strongly while defending through all this. Now, palace guards fighting the lancers. But unlike the spearmen, they don't have a nice counter um, damage and armor against them. The lancers are going to cut through them pretty quickly. So, Nushabar. Really starting to dip in terms of score. I think he's sort of run out of steam now. There's a lot of production being thrown up by the Viper. He's going to be able to remax so fast behind this. And Nushalbar is only at about 100 pop at the moment. So he's sort of worn himself out and not really been spending as well as he probably could be. Oh, he's working towards age 4, but even still, perhaps a, a little bit. Preemptive. It's a lot of stone it produces. The white stupa. But he's going to have to hold out here because the Viper has so much. And Nushaba is still trying to raid him. This outpost is going to be able to chip away at gatherers over here. There's a lot for Nashabar to have to deal with at the moment on his doorstep. So production facilities being thrown up around this OVU, this age 4 uh, resource generator. So will it be too little too late for Nashabar? He does have plenty in the bank too, so I mean he probably could have been producing a bit more through all this. Yeah, his Production suffering a little bit while this is going on and maybe even committing a few too many of the vills to getting this built because that's a lot of villagers to have to scramble now so the viper right on his doorstep going to be able to siege that main town center and all the landmarks with it in fact there's nothing really to defend it so viper's going to just come out and basically kill off all the stragglers running around national bar his cheesy towers still Putting in a little bit of work, but not really amounting to anything at this point in the game. So the Vipers, huge army of Zhugnews being... I mean, huge army, yeah, of Zhugnews. Predominantly, a couple of infantry being run through the base of Nushalbar, and he has to tap out at this point. GG.